Hey guys, welcome to Precision Machine Shed. Today what I'm going to show is how to cut some plaster relatively easy without cracking it and busting it all up. <clears throat> There's several different ways to do it. Uh, of course the easiest method but the dustiest is to get a diamond wheel on an angle grinder and this will slice right through the outside of the plaster give you a nice clean cut. However, You'll still have to get inside there and cut the lath. If you uh, poke around a little bit, you can feel or you can even find uh, the gap in the lath. And so my top and my bottom here I already got cut out. But you know, a lot of people may not have a, a nice angle grinder like this with a, a diamond wheel. Um, so an easy way to do this is I went through, I got a drill here with a masonry bit. This is my DeWalt 20 volt. It's a hammer drill. You don't necessarily need a hammer drill, but it makes it a little easier. Go around, drill holes every half inch or so. Takes, I don't know, takes three, four minutes to do. This is about 12 by 15, so I'm cutting out an access here for a bathtub. Um, go through and cut that. Uh, I should also mention that when you're using an angle grinder like this, you need a vacuum, a good uh, dust vacuum to suck up all the dust because it creates a ton of dust. So that's, my house is semi-finished here, so I'm trying not to make a bunch of dust. So I, we drill a bunch of holes, and then you get this. I think they call it a jab saw, or I used to call them keyhole saws, or for cutting sheetrock. And when you get in between the lath, you can go right along here and cut. But when you're going up and down, it gets a little more difficult. So you kind of start at the top here and I made a little mark there, but it's not how you're supposed to do it. But you can start sawing up and down here and you can feel when you get to the lath and the plaster should cut and break out right along those drill holes. Corners, and there's a glob of hair there from the, from the plaster. But so there we go. There is a nice clean cut in the plaster without getting a bunch of cracks. So now the next trick, of course, is to get all the lath cut. So when you're cutting this, uh, if you're next to a stud, you can, and you got a small enough hole uh, saw here, you can get in here and tap on it a little bit. And it should work its way. You can poke through, and once you get through one of the laths, you can start sawing those laths out with this. Or, uh, this is another option, get a fine tool, or in this case a rock weld, oscillating tool, and with the wood blade, and after you get the plaster cut out of there, you can go in there with the wood blade and just cut the lath out on each side, and this whole piece will come out. Uh, you can also cut the plaster with a carbide blade on the uh, oscillating tool, but it usually eats them up pretty quick, and the carbide blades aren't cheap for these things, so there's better ways to do it. So let me uh, cut this out quick, and then I'll show you how it turned out. safe glass is your protection when you're doing this. Let's see if I cut it all the way through. 
there we go. So there's basically the whole piece of plaster without making any cracks. See that sheet's basically intact. I could technically stick it back in there if I wanted to, but a little trim, but we're not, we're going to do something different. So, so there we go. Nice clean corners. Uh, now you can go over and do this for whatever reason. You got to get access to that covered up however you want. You can patch it back up. You can even plaster it back up. So there you go. Hope that was a, a little help to you guys. And, uh, you know, those people out there working on lath and plaster, it's always fun when you get, uh, trying to cut holes in this stuff. It's not always the easiest thing to do. So, all right. So if you like that, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe on your machine. Shoot safe. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.